Hello children, welcome to 7th Science Online Classes. Chapter 4 Heat So in the last class, we learned the definition of temperature. Temperature is a measure of the degree of hotness of an object. And temperature is measured by a device called thermometer. Different types of thermometers are used for different purposes. Clinical thermometer, laboratory thermometer, maximum minimum thermometer, uh, digital thermometer, etc. are different types of thermometers. And in the last class, we learned about clinical thermometer. Clinical thermometer is used only for the measurement of human body temperature and you can see a scale on this clinical thermometer the scale we use is celsius scale indicated by degree celsius the other scale also uh, there that is fahrenheit scale and it was in use earlier a clinical thermometer read temperature from 35 degrees celsius to 42 degrees celsius very very important a clinical thermometer the range between 35 degrees celsius to 42 degrees celsius and the normal temperature of human body is 37 degree celsius so these are the things we learned in the last class You know that a clinical thermometer consists of a uniform glass tube, a long glass tube and it has a bulb at one end and mercury is filled in this bulb. And today we will just see what precautions should be taken while using a clinical thermometer. First point wash the thermometer before and after using with an antiseptic solution like a Dettol or such solution you can just wash the thermometer before and after using before taking the temperature the thermometer is given a few jerks to bring down the level of mercury below 35 degree celsius that means uh, i think uh, you have observed this Okay, before going to measure the temperature, we uh, have given a few jerks or we just shake the thermometer for few times to bring down the level of mercury below 35 degrees Celsius. Okay, then only using the thermometer, uh, we measure the temperature, we can see the rising or that uh, high uh, level of temperature, rising level of temperature. So, before... Uh, going to take the temperature we have to confirm that the mercury level should be below 35 degrees celsius that we have to done by uh, by sh uh, shaking the thermometer or given few jerks third point keep the thermometer straight in order to see the mercury level precisely okay so when after taking the uh, temperature when we read the thermometer that time keep the thermometer straight in order to see the mercury level precisely so that picture you can see in your textbook page number 37 it should always be held with care or it can break down because it is made up of glass tube so uh, very careful while handling a thermometer you should not touch the bulb of the thermometer at all and don't touch the bulb also bulb of the thermometer next thermometer is laboratory thermometer so you know that different types of thermometers are used for 
different purposes and clinical thermometer is used only for to measure the body temperature of human and laboratory thermometer that is used to, uh, to find the temperature of other objects such as water rather than human body temperature or laboratory thermometer we can use it in the lab because in the lab many uh, chemicals many things are there so to find the temperature of that things we can use this laboratory thermometer so you can see the picture also is very long and what is the range of this thermometer laboratory thermometer it can measure the temperature from minus 10 degrees celsius to 110 degrees celsius so the range once again i will read minus 10 degrees celsius to 110 degrees celsius and what about the uh, clinical thermometer its range uh, from 35 degrees celsius to 42 degrees celsius but in the case of laboratory thermometer the range from minus 10 degrees celsius to 110 degrees celsius what precautions should be taken when using a laboratory thermometer you studied what precaution should be taken when using a clinical thermometer the same thing you can repeat here also you should always follow the same precautions as that of the clinical thermometer and second point you should always hold the laboratory thermometer in a straight upright position without tilting it okay without tilting or without uh, shaking the thermometer you have to keep the laboratory thermometer in straight upright position straight upright position the picture you can see in your textbook okay page number uh, 39 figure 4 5 measuring temperature of water with the laboratory thermometer so you can see how that thermometer holding by the hand okay that is straight upright and without shaking or without tilting next point the bulb of the thermometer should never touch the surface of the container in which the substance is kept so that is very very important so when you are measuring uh, water uh, example water in a beaker don't touch the thermometer bulb to the uh, sides of the beaker don't touch the beaker it should touch only the water okay then next point however the bulb of the thermometer should be completely immersed in the substance so that it covers the bulb from all the sides and another point is uh, when we are taking the measurement or measurement of the temperature the bulb should be completely dipped in the uh, solution or substance okay half part is out or uh, like that we will not get the correct reading so you should immerse the bulb complete bulb inside the uh, solution or that substance okay so these are the things very uh, very small portion today i took okay so read your textbook and uh, that range of that clinical thermometer as well as laboratory thermometer is very very important so read your textbook and i will give some questions also so write that questions answers and by heart that answers okay okay children so all the best